Hi. 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 Hello. Hey guys. What's up guys? Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. What up? Oh, I, I think it makes the whole high school experience a better experience. High school is a pretty lonely place if you have formed some relationships, both with students and with your teachers. You're gonna make memories with those friends and they're gonna be the people who are there for you forever. If you don't form relationships, you probably aren't going to have any fun or become involved in any activities and you probably aren't going to excel um, to your very fullest potential. I meet some friends and make some acquaintances that you can keep the rest of your life. So I think relationships are important. It keeps you involved. It, it makes it hard to go through high school when you don't have those people who have your interests and things. There are some personalities who may only need one or two people. They don't need a lot of friends. It shouldn't be a quantity, but a quality thing that's important. Humans in general are super social creatures and I think high school is stressful at times and it's new and every year is completely different and you always need a friend or someone to help guide you through. And so whether that be, you know, forming relationships, positive relationships with your friends, your clubs, your teachers, counselor, you know, you name it. I mean, you need those relationships to help, you know, be successful in high school. Students on average spend over 4,000 hours in high school. That equates to a little over 166 consecutive days. As a senior with less than three months left of school, I dare to ask myself, what did I make of those 4,000 hours? How have the events during that time affected me? What did this time consist of? Each answer, for me, shared a common theme. A theme I'm guessing you've gathered from the wise words previously shared with you from some staff members at my high school. The relationships you form in high school matter. But how exactly do students form these relationships? Who should they form them with? Why do relationships even matter? Inspired by the YouTube channel Jubilee and their Tea with Strangers series, I sought to answer these questions through a social experiment. In 1997, psychologist Arthur Aaron developed a list of questions that could lead any two people to fall in love. I took a tweaked version of these questions and asked them to three groups of high schoolers, hoping that whatever they experienced would be the answer to my questions. How do you feel right now? Okay. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Feel okay, you know, just going about my day. Feeling pretty good. Are you nervous about anything today? Uh, I'm gonna go talk to my girlfriend a bit today. It's always a little bit nerve wracking, I guess. No. Um, I am. A little, I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> Given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? Okay, all right. Nicole Simpson. I want to know who killed her. That's, that's, that's a person. That it's is a per it's just, I, I, I really want to know if OJ did it. Yeah. <laughs> so there, there, there's mine. Mm. I'm going to pull out the big guns here and go, Jesus. Oh. Yeah. This is going to sound really bad. But Hitler? I would just yeah. like to yeah, know yeah, what, that, what that goes sense. through the mind of a person like that. Like just, yeah, I was thinking. Right. Like, for what in your life do you feel most grateful? Fam. Uh, my friends. I don't, uh, mainly because I don't really know how I got them. <laughs> it's kind of happened. <laughs> so I'm pretty grateful for everybody who considers, I consider to be a friend, who considers me to be a friend. Yeah, my family's, we're really close. We're just all together. It's pretty lit. Um, the great community we have, like, you know, in Seneca, people, like, yeah. Just for that. <laughs> <laughs> what comes to mind first is, like, when I was, like, a little kid playing basketball with my brothers and stuff like that. Uh, it was just, it was really fun. 
mean, just like going out and playing and catch with my family. It was yeah. pretty cool. Life is my treasure memory. Uh, the first time I watched the movie Step Brothers, <laughs> changed, <laughs> changed, my changed my life. I'll, I'll go first. Uh, Evan, I, I love your meme ability. Carter, uh, you seem pretty hardworking. Uh, Ethan, um, you, uh, I like how you, uh, you think about things, right. like you hold on to things, you don't just kind of be like, oh, that's just the way things are, and you let it pass on, you think about, oh, that's why, think about why that is. Wow. Oh. Comment on his face, comment on his face, or something Dude, like that. Dude, um, that beard. beard, my god, <laughs> that beard. Um, I mean, I don't know you guys too great. But uh, we've had some pretty interesting talks. So like, you have very abstract thoughts sometimes. <laughs> very abstract. And that's great. Um, Evan, you seem like you could be a leader someday. Yeah. Thanks, you do. Like, I can do see you give off that dirty politician vibe. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Took that in a completely different direction. Um, I haven't seen Carter too much, but I've seen you up at the. Uh, Courts sometimes, like oh, yeah. at, like during the summer, I saw you up there sometimes. So I know, like you, you're like pretty dedicated to the grind. Always on that grind. The grind. Is Getting grind. the bread is what Carter does. I love how you g always get the bread. You don't. I, I mean, compared to other schools, we don't really have a whole lot of problems like with people between each other. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I'd say we're pretty tight, though. Yeah, yeah we're, it's, it's, I feel like we're it's yeah. pretty small community, um, pretty loving community. Yeah. Do you think we're happier than other people's? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Definitely in our area. Let's try to be better for this one. Let's try, let's try and give her some good material here. If you were going to become a close friend with someone, please share what would be important for him or her to know. Um, I'm pretty compulsive sometimes. Like, I'm pretty, like, like certain things have to be certain ways. A lot. Pretty impulsive. Uh, I, I will do some things. <laughs> they won't make a lot of sense. Ooh. Just gonna have to deal with them. I'll do it like whatever those are for. Me. Yeah, I like to have a plan set out. Not really a free form. End of set three. <coughs> Throw the candles. <coughs> <coughs> It's a fun experience. Do you feel closer with the people in your group? Yeah, I do. I feel uh, feel a little bit more open, I guess. Mm -hmm. I was surprised by how much fun it was. I thought it was just going to be a bunch of boring questions being answered, but I had a good time. I mean, it surprised me uh, how much I would talk to people I don't know very well. How long does it take to form a small bond with someone? A day. A small bond with someone you could probably form in like an afternoon, just hanging out. Not very long, I'd say like a few minutes. You know, you just gotta find something in common and then you're, uh, you have a bond. And what was your favorite part of today? Um, knowing everybody's secrets and, well, don't forget that actually, don't. <laughs> just getting to know everybody. The candles smell pretty nice. Anything today? I mean, kind of. I'm nervous, but excited. I'm a bit nervous. Okay. Given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? I don't know. Don't look at me. <laughs> Probably one of my friends. I mean, Jesse Underhill. Not gonna lie. Go look him up. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. <laughs> um. Mm, the grandma. I guess I'd say Mark Ruffalo then. Even though I really hate that movie, so I can't use that. <laughs> Colin Underwood then. Oh, he's hot. <laughs> well, I'd like to eventually be a published author, if that includes statements, but I do well, not I mean, want people to know me for like controversy or something like that. Yeah, I'm not new on that. Okay, cool. what about you? Um, like charity work. Oh, that's nice. She's such a good person. She makes me feel like a potato. <laughs> 
you last sing to yourself? Like this morning in the car. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. like, <laughs> like, like ten minutes ago. <laughs> I was gonna say this morning in the shower. I wish I was more outgoing when I was an underclassman because I was very much not. I You're was, still shy. Well, yes, but less so. Like I didn't have any friends when I was an underclassman, oh, yeah. and that's entirely my fault. No, I think I don't think I really would change anything because I mean. In middle school, there would probably be a lot I would change, but now, once I get to high school, that's when I started being more outgoing, and it's kind of thanks to the drama class, Yeah. because... God, middle school sucks. Yeah, I'm glad I did for <laughs> oh, just when I did. Kim. Maybe my way of showing love to my buddies kicking them in the face. So. Or, like, <laughs> just calling people, like, nicknames or whatever, because uh, my best friend and I just call each other Ruby, because it seems like we're already, like, living together, so, like, she's my Ruby. I don't know, I just tell my friend, I'm like, hey, you're ugly. And she's like, yeah, you're ugly too. And like, that's how we show love. Like, we just yeah. insult each other and we know that we're kidding. Like, everyone but like, if someone else was to do that to me, I'd be like, uh, excuse me, but like, something's yeah, hurt. Yeah, everyone, everyone has like their certain yeah. ways of affection between yeah. people. And I think that's really nice. Like, that yeah. affection of like, this is for us only. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. You're very honest. Like, I appreciate yeah. that. Like, I think I grew as a person being around you. You're just tons of fun to have around because you're just constantly doing something weird that we I can know, all just laugh I love at. It. I love it. I and feel like, like I'm always like. Like, you don't even care what we think because no, it's just. I've learned to not care anymore. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like, I think that's a really good thing to have. Um, but yeah, you've just been sweet. Like, you just get along with everybody, it seems like. Like, we're just here talking about crazy stuff, and you're like, yeah, that's. I agree with you. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't really know you, like, at all until I got here, but, I mean, you're pretty chill. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just seem like you're, like, you're, like, the, the calm, you're, like, very calm, and you seem like you'd be really shy, but when you get to know you, then. I, I feel like no high school is gonna be perfect and warm and welcoming, like, it's high school. No. It's just Teenagers like, suck. Like, That's how it works. Mind. It is, I but I don't know about the average other high school, mm -hmm. but I feel yeah. like, at least in my class, there's less jerks. Your class seems mm -hmm. to be really close to I think that our high school, we're all, towards the beginning, like, we definitely have, like, our cliques, like, our groups, mm -hmm. then, like, the older we get, because, I mean, I know. I definitely feel At like the beginning it. of, like, yeah. my freshman year, we were all kind of in our groups, but, mm -hmm. like, now we're opening up and we're, like, yeah, I definitely think, more. I feel like every single year, like, when you hit senior year, that's when everyone, everyone mixes with everyone, but I it's feel like, close off. I mean, yeah. I can tell that we're definitely opening up a little bit now, sophomore year, but it's, yeah, it's just everyone something that happens. goes and does their the, own thing, really. Once you get to being a senior, I think the whole you can't sit with us mentality mm -hmm. kind of disappears, and it's mm -hmm. like, if you want to be friends with this group, they'll probably let you. <sighs> It was deep. Guys, it's pretty. Oh, oh Nikki. I feel like a grandma. How do you feel right now? Uh, good. Relaxed. Honestly, I'm, I'm a bit tired. That was a lot emotionally. I'm kind of tired and hungry now. I feel like happy, like it went well. So I'm just glad about that. I feel like. I have people to go talk to, and I have uh, new friends. I'm a lot closer with now. I didn't know them very well before. Yes, absolutely. Like, I didn't know a couple of those peoples, and, like, we had not talked in a while. So I definitely feel a lot closer now. <laughs> definitely. I think we all know each other really well now, and we're really comfortable around each other. Um... Just because, um, I don't know, you hadn't met them before and you thought of them something completely different from what you learned about them later on? I was surprised about how easily it was to talk about these things around them because I normally wouldn't have said those things if I was just talking to somebody, but just it was just so much easier just to talk than I expected it would. I didn't... I think it would be so much, if that makes any sense. I, th it was a lot more like I thought it was just gonna be like, 
come in, we'll answer a few questions about yourself, get to know each other a little bit, fun, but it was really emotional. How do you feel right now? Um, nervous but excited. I'm chill right now, no nothing really big right now. I feel good, I'm a little nervous. I don't really know what to expect, I guess. Right now I do feel a little bit nervous because you said the questions are intense and I'm like, oh my gosh, how well am I gonna get to know these people? <laughs> Given the choice of anyone in the world, who would you want as a dinner guest? LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> The cheesy answer. Yeah. I don't know who I would want. Some comedian. That's all that I really know. Good stuff, guys. Right. Okay. <laughs> Perfect day for me would be playing with my niece and nephew. Love them. I'm traveling. I love to travel. Travel where? Anywhere. For what in your life do you feel most grateful? My family. My family. I'm gonna say growing up on a farm. Ah, uh, this is. I'll say family too. Let's go with the farm. You guys are so cliche. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you could change anything about your high school experience so far, what would it be? I feel like the freshmen don't have much experience yeah. in high school yet. Yeah. I would have started doing the plays sooner. I didn't That's start that until spring of junior year, and it's been a lot of fun, so I think I would have had fun. A lot sooner? A lot sooner. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't really know what I would change. I think that I probably would have gone out more freshman year. Do you guys have messed that up? <laughs> I don't really have anything. I haven't had much experience. Like any classes that you wish that you wouldn't have taken? But I guess um, you guys don't really have I kind of wish that I wouldn't have gotten stuck in the drama as easily. Like with a lot of drama. Like through your friends and stuff? Yeah. Gotcha. My most treasured memory is probably like with my grandpa. Whenever he was like still able to do stuff on the farm. He had some great valuable life, les life lessons. Um, playing frisbee with my grandpa on my dad's side when I was like five years old. It's a very vivid memory. Dude, I have those um, too. I don't even know. Like, they're random stuff, but I yeah, have them too. It's, um, it was, wasn't too long before he was, um, stuck to the bed for the rest of his life, which was only like a couple years after that. Um, That's sad. So, that was fun. My dad's third marriage. It's an amazing time. <laughs> I just cried the entire ceremony. Hopefully of joy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I don't know. <laughs> so far, so good. That was like sitting on my, my great uncle's lap and him telling me a story. And then, like, a year after that, he just couldn't remember anything and then he died. It's, I didn't know him that much, I was young, but it was, yeah. Something good. <laughs> I'd change everything about my entire life. I'd be more outgoing, I'd get more friends, I'd go out more, <sighs> I'd actually put <laughs> time into my living. <laughs> I would just, I would go to California right now, get our family we wanted not care well, I mean, well care a little bit just do all my dreams i wouldn't care about anything if i'm gonna die in a year might as well do <laughs> crazy stuff anyway <laughs> um i mean i've always i've been raised to no matter what every time we leave the house we hug our parents tell them we love them because you never know if that's the last time you see them yeah, wow that, that <laughs> got really deep wow. that's the same thing. Angela, you seem like you are always a positive person. 
and you can agree or disagree with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam, you seem like a fun guy. Kind of guy I'd like to hang out with in California. <laughs> <laughs> and Amber, you seem like, um, if put in the right group, you can be a very outgoing and personable individual. Good words, good words. Yeah, I feel like our school is a small enough school where everybody knows everybody, and if that, somebody's having a problem, I mean, somebody will help you out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everyone's really supportive and helpful. It's very welcoming to new people. Um, and very loyal to old people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, not, not that was a deep question, fans. I had a feeling like set three would be the most deep. Oh, you were right. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. I feel like I gained a couple more friends. I feel great. I don't know. <laughs> uh, good. <laughs> I feel good now. That's a good feeling going on. Honestly, yeah, I do feel a lot closer. I feel like they can approach me anytime and I'll help them. <laughs> I feel so close to them. I kind of got to understand them more, kind of get to know them a lot more, and see their way of thinking and yeah because we were all we all opened up we were all okay with opening up um some more than others but that's okay we all opened up in some way or another i didn't expect us to be as like happy and laughing as we did it did surprise me how open we were like i wanted to be honest with it but i didn't know like how honest people were gonna get like if like medium honest or like full honest, so. Never, like literally never talked to anybody about that. So, that was definitely new. <laughs> what kinds of things do you look for in a friend? Funny, outgoing. I'm just someone that will be there. Someone you know you can call at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, loyalty. Uh, Constant affirmation that I'm awesome. One who I can like hang out with and like talk to dedicated person. Somebody who um, is open to uh, different people. With the personality and the trust, a good sense of humor. With the same values that I have, the same morals. So they gotta be funny. Someone that is honest. Kind of like the same thing as me. Like um, I think positive friends are important too. And wants to have a fun time because I can be fun sometimes. <laughs> a friend isn't somebody who tries to change you into something they want, but a friend is somebody who accepts you as you are. Yeah, I think relationships make or break the high school experience, quite honestly. Like, good relationships, good experience, bad relationships, you'll think it was the longest four years of your life. Obviously, here at school, we want you to get involved in our activities, programs. Uh, it doesn't matter what your interest is. I think we've got something out there for most everyone. Like, doing what we did today, just getting to know someone. Well, I'm going to sound like a standard teacher or a parent here. And I'm going to say, get involved with your clubs and your activities and your sports. And, and it sounds really cliche, but it's so true. Because especially if you're new or you're just an incoming freshman, I mean, there are so many things that you can do. I mean, it, like there are things that I bet coming in, it, even as an eighth grader into your freshman year, you probably were like, oh, I didn't know we had this club. or. You know, you could be a part of this group or you could go out for this and you should do those things because it will not only one, make you hang out with people outside of your small friend group, but you're going to learn something really cool that you might pursue later on outside high school. High school is not only just about learning, it's about um, kind of growing as a person and you grow, you know, most people grow off other people, so yeah. I mean, I think those relationships can be built all over the place, whether it's inside of school, outside of school, on the weekends. That you're gonna form a family, like the theater people, because you spend so much time practicing together, you just naturally become friends, and maybe you didn't start out that way. And I, and I think that's why athletes hang together, they're practicing together, they're playing together, they're, they're on buses together. And I think if you get involved in something like that, it will, it will help you to find friends. Uh, you gotta find what you're really passionate about. Um, what do you enjoy? What motivates you? gravitate towards those items of interest and then naturally you'll have some friendships ignite.